Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel Tropical Fruit Tree. Uh, so today just want to show you I'm um, quickly update my uh, avocado this area a bit with my persimmon fruit tree with my guava Indian guava tree and with all my avocado. So see how it's going guys. So my first one on the right here is my post office lamb husk and chocolate and behind there was shawil and shape it so there's avocado and over there was a uh, persimmon fruit tree and then indian guava and then another thai guava behind there so okay let's go see so i want to see uh, how all the tree going guys so the my first one here is my post office it's doing very well been one year in the ground so we transferred them last year december so been one year now the tree grow like five size bigger guy and my lama also we put them the same time all of them so they grow same last size because i think we put them close to each other that's why they try to grow raises rice raising <laughs> so they grow same last size i was so happy guys this tree was much smaller and skinnier but now look they growing very good and I put at the front seedling to protect the trunk a little bit. So, which is amazing. And the tree very healthy. So, that's my post office guy. Look at the leaf. It's growing very shiny. Glory. So, this is a very, very uh, tropical. It's very red tree as well, guy. Post office. The fruits are very big. I'm very excited for that one. Look at the growth. Very amazing. You're talking about the trunk, guy. I couldn't believe one year in the ground how big it is. Look at that, it's very big, right? Very big. I was grafting from here. When we put them in the ground, guys, about this side. Did you go back to see my video? That's about that side. It's very small. And that's my tiger. Wow, wow, I should have lost them. Because this guy will suffer a lot. But now they're coming back. Look at this. I was exciting and so hard guys they try to grow and die back and die because of the weather's cold up and down it was horrible the past winter it's no good and this is my shawil doing very good that's my favorite fruit that's a fruit very yummy but one of the this tree all the avocado this is a tree they grow not the bad guy look at that they grow like no bone <laughs> just skin and meat look grow they can't grow straight guys right? they grow langing and everything and my next one here is my shepherd guy remember this guy i will transfer them in the ground last year december i lost all my group like 75 percent but the tree now nah, look happy and going very well seem like the same toll of my chocolate and lamha so they they amazing Oh, I love my tree. <laughs> They're doing very good. Lamha got one fruit. And I try to tie them up as well. So it doesn't grow too much out. And this is my shape head, guys. Shape head is crazy growth. That's a shape head, right? I, I'm sorry, this is not shape head. This is chocolate. Chocolate. And look at this one too. So that's a chocolate as well. Chocolate going very good, so very bushy. I'm very happy about that one. And that's my uh, Indian guava. Indian guava doing very well, guys. Very bushy, very healthy tree. When, yeah, I'm so happy about this one because I lost one my uh, Hawaiian guava, guys. That, see, that look, I break the 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 tree. It's like that wood. So uh, I put them the same time as well, that guava, this one, and this one. This one tried to grow, I think, because they're cold too long. That's why nothing helping. I don't protect or nothing, this, even this one. That this one is very stubborn, hard head, supporting. It's like a very strong tree, guy. Guava, if possible, it grow in Melbourne too. If you love guava fruit tree, then you can grow them. And my bag here is my specimen tree persimmon for you guys so many fruit for the 
small tree I grew I got them last year early last year and I transferred them into the ground early last year as well so this the tree might be around 10 months old in the ground trunk just a little bit bigger not much bigger but it talk about the fruit it's crazy guy look at this and fruit going very big now look at that so my big look at this guy so i'm so excited for the my passion for you can't wait to taste them <laughs> i am very exciting look at that guys so my fruit right and i had last month last year last time they the uh, fruiting only 14 but anyway they dropped off the fruit the fruit was falling off nothing left but look like this year they they going to be hold the fruit guys i'm very exciting even down here they have a fruit too go have a look so here i was under the tree now here we go and over there look so many fruit tree so that's my chocolate chocolate avocado you look that's a big trunk one here bushy and another one here over there amazing amazing and that's my shape it trunk not much bigger because the suffer lost 75 percent of root when i pull it out from the pot but again they grow very tall now i think they try like i said they try to raise not raise raise <laughs> wow my english not the best guy I do, I do my best try to show you everything in my garden. It's like you are in my backyard too, right? See what happening, what growing, what not growing, what fruit tree it can do in Melbourne, can can grow in Melbourne, and what tree is hard to grow. What I find is very hard to grow. Is sour soap. I so I think you should you should investing money to the sour soap. I lost the little three tree die, and my big one tree die too. So sour so good to not play with guys. Impossible in my, in Melbourne in our climate, guys. It's too cold for them. Okay, but you can try if you want. But to me, I'm not going to do it again. Okay, I'm going to show you my sour soap a little bit. I had three pot smaller one here. They are dead. It's here. Dead. Dead here too. Gone. And I pull the trunk off. Dead. See, guy? So it's no point. No point wasting, wasting money. I bought the seedling, this one, $25, $30. I bought a little one, $15, $15. All dead. And I bought the bigger one here. My, my partner bought from if a gift. And it does well, but it's so many tree to go. See my sour soup, the bigger one in the pot. Dead. See the the trunk. Rotted, mold. It's mold and <laughs> tree was dead. So that's my opinion. It's my uh, experience to grow sour soup. It can't do in Melbourne guy I don't think it's possible impossible to grow sour soup in Melbourne guys all right guys that's all for my video today and this will guy my sweet tamarind I have to wait a bit more I try to break some trunk die look but I will wait a little bit more so sad I didn't give them protect anything. I, I never realized that's bad cold, guys. That's bad. I lost so much tree this year. All right, guys, that's all I would like to show you for all my experience to grow the tropical fruit tree. So I will show you more in the, my backyard. So see which one which tree do you like it you like to grow and which one is easier to grow if you want to grow you can do as well okay so that's all for today guys and i hope you enjoy this video and this video is for you guys if you into the fruit tree like i do with my partner 
So we love the tree guy every day. We watch him many times, especially when summertime. The tree grow is so crazy. They grow very fast, especially the mango, lychee, castle apple, everything. Yeah, they grow very fast during the summertime. All right, guys, thanks so much for all your big support and that's my channel. And thank you for been supporting always and i would like to see you in my next video guy please stay safe and stay healthy bye